photogenic. He's also the most awesome person on the face of the planet. That's what I'd like to say. Uncle Lee's my, my toy errand man. If you can believe this, he decorated this whole store. I'd... <laughs> He says he wants to die with his boots on. The only way to go. <laughs> Let's eat. long females are usually around four they're the second largest breed of frogs in the whole entire world this guy's got little spock ears right here sliders the, the the males have long fingernails for courting they actually go nose to nose head to head and they just and the male goes like this and you know entices the female you know baby. hey baby <laughs> 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 it's pretty funny watching them. I mean, it, it's classical. I mean, once in a while I look and I even, I mean, even as many years I see it, when I see it, I just think, man, that's amazing. That charging tortoise was, we nicknamed him Spock because he's got little sharp little ears like no other tortoise I've ever seen. So he went in with all the other males, Mark, Luke, and John. They're all big, huge, mature males. So he's still in there thinking somehow he's going to become the alpha male. What they typically do is they butt, bam, 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 and then they try to roll each other over in the wild. And of course, you know, in the wild it can be pretty dangerous. It's kind of a myth. They think if they're rolled over they can't breathe and they're going to die. Either another one rolls them over or they continue fighting and they roll them back over. They don't really leave them there upside down and, and even if they did they breathe fine upside down so he's in there taking his big bad 60 pounds against the 140 pounders and push them and they're going Jack ah. he thought the camera was another male so he's trying to push the camera around it's pretty funny <laughs> there's a pecking order and he has not figured it out yet that's for sure you guys want to feed him yes, yes. thank you totally. thank you <laughs> it's pretty fun just actually hold on to it oh, do you want to feed him the food or me? Do you want to feed him, feed him my head? You don't have to answer that. <laughs> If it gets this upset, it won't even eat. This thing literally attacks its food. It's so bizarre. Is that bizarre or what? Is that crazy? Oh, wow. It's like, it acts like it's eating live rats. It's gonna fight back or something. It's just a weird animal. I've never seen an animal that mean that is actually that good of eater. I just, it's weird for me. Don't take the food away from it is all I'm saying. It's... Unless you're willing to donate. Yeah. <laughs> And he's like, mm, I can't bite him, I got something on my mouth, they're going to have to wait a minute. <laughs> and now she's going to get it right, watch. There yeah, it goes. Yeah. She's got a bit in half now. Look at that. Whoa. Wow. Oh, no, wait, what did you get? I almost got it. I'm not 
really taunting her. This is her personality. See, she knows I'm pulling away, so she knows I'm scared of her, so that means I'm actually fair game. <laughs> I'm gonna pick you instead. Oh, you're cute, bearded dragon. Okay, one, two, three. Oh boy. <laughs> Holy <laughs> smokes. It's a little wet, but it's only water. Oh my oh. god. Holy smokes, you're cute. <laughs> If it was two boys, it could be a problem. Burmese get along fine. Put two male retics together and it's not good. Wow. It's, it's battle. Hey Jay, how did that footage come out from our fishing trip yesterday? <laughs> the sharks, it's crazy. Them things, you got it. You did a good job with that camera. I'm shocked. I'll show you in a few minutes. It's crazy. This is called sushi for giant sharks. Here you go, Sharky Sharky! Here you go! Here you go! And we had the greatest fishing trip I've ever been on with shark hunting. Man, I've just seen some huge sharks. Never seen anything like that before. One time we had about 15 of them around the boat and we were just throwing fish in and, and chunks of meat. Uh, we tied some off onto a fishing pole. <laughs> it's just uh, it was incredible. Yeah, we weren't using hooks because we already had some shark at home and we didn't really need to kill any, so we just wanted to play with them. We just tied a big fish onto a line and we just kind of moved around in front of them and it, it was pretty fun. I've never done anything like that before. 300 pound sharks eating sushi. These are some giant squid that I caught a few years back. Big old suckers like that, these things just love them. So we're just gonna feed them and let them go. The biggest shark I saw was like 400 pounds. Yeah, it's half as long as a boat, it seemed like at the time. And Jay took about a 40 pound squid and he put it out in front of him, and the thing swallowed it in one bite. More. It was just crazy. Started biting on the prop of the boat. He took my face. Oh, he bit the motor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he bit the motor. The prop. Never seen nothing like that. It was great. Uh, well, we were out. Try to get some mako, the big giant four or five hundred pounder or better. Just never did come up to the surface. We saw one that was out quite a ways. Couldn't quite get it close enough to the boat to hook it up. Uh, about 10 Makos. Biggest one close to the boat was probably about 250 pounds. And they just kept staying around the boat all day long. Never seen nothing like that. It was great. So, did you guys enjoy the reptile zoo? Loved it. Loved it. So much fun. So much fun. I'm bringing my parents back. Oh, next time my my sister's in town, she's gonna yeah. like it.